All right, good evening, my friends. Tonight we're going to talk about this Restrict Act. Now, it's sold as, quote, banning TikTok, but when you read it, and we're going to look at some of it, it is the Patriot Act for the Internet. Now, the Patriot Act had nothing to do with patriotism, of course. It was all about basically spying on Americans. Huh? And, of course, when they roll out the Patriot Act, they, they mentioned, oh, it's only going to be foreigners, don't worry. But then the NSA got caught spying. <laughs> and it was used carte blanche against Americans. And that fuck stick, James Clapper, documented perjurer. That's where he perjured himself in the process. And of course, after he got busted, they pretty much just outsourced that functionality to a vendor. And they still continue to spy on us. So this is going to be awful. The Digital Iron Curtain, how the Restrict Act threatens to devastate privacy, and crush free speech. So, uh, again, the bill requires federal actions to identify and mitigate foreign threats. But you're going to see it's much, much more than that, my friends. It also establishes civil and criminal penalties for violations. Of course, they are extremely punitive. And uh, let's just not worry about the stupid summary. Let's see who co-sponsored it. This should be a who's who of rhinos and globalists. We'll just call them the Uniparty here. John Thune, he's a, basically a Democrat. Uh, let's see, Deb, Joe Manchin, fucker. Uh, date co-sponsored, okay, let's see. Dan Sullivan, Susan Collins, another boomer fucking fossil. Doesn't even understand the words in this bill. Shouldn't be signing legislation, or you shouldn't be voting on legislation you don't understand, especially you, fucking Mitt Romney, Midwit Mitt. Who else is in here? Tim Kaine looks like a pedo. Stolen Valor, Richard, Richard Blumenthal, Chuck Grassley. I thought you were smarter than that, Chuck. You're also way past your expiration date. Tom Tillis, another solid leftoid. Lindsey Graham, that cocksucker. And Mark Kelly, the astronaut. <laughs> Fucking space cadet is more like it. So I got some notes here because I wanted to make sure I hit everything here. We'll just basically skip down to section 5. Because most of this stuff is a bunch of bullshit legal speak. Okay, here we go. Uh, considerations. So, uh, information, communications, technology, product, or services used by a party in a covered in transaction or in a sector designated as critical as Policy Directive 21 relating to critical infrastructure security and resilience. So we're, they're talking software and hardware and any product or service integral to the communications products and services, including wireless local access networks. That's in your home, I bet. Mobile networks, uh, your satellite, uh, or I'm sorry, your uh, cell phone, every text message you send. Satellite payloads, probably what you're watching, uh, cable access points, everything you do on the internet, wireline access points, core networking systems, long and short backhaul networks, or edge computer platforms, any software, hardware, or any other product or service integral to data hosting or computer services that use processes or retains or is expected to use process or retain. What's a legal fucking speed? Sensitive personal data with respect to greater than 1 million persons, which is pretty much every banking uh, website. Uh, and, you know, a bunch of payment platforms. So they're going to know everything you're fucking doing in the United States at any point during the year. Much less, I mean, social media goes without saying. You know, Facebook and Twitter do, all, do this shit all the time. Uh, preceding the date on which the cover transactions. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Well, okay, so they institute covered transactions, including internet hosting services. Cloud-based or distribution-based computer and data storage, anything you do that's on Amazon Web Services, machine learning or predictive analysis, managed services, uh, or content delivery services like Netflix. Shouldn't be watching that anti-government conspiracy stuff. You're going to jail. Okay. Internet or network-enabled sensors, webcams, modems, or home networking devices if greater than a million units have been sold to persons in the United States. Okay, unmanned vehicle. Well, I don't care about that. Uh, software designed or used primarily for connecting with and communicating via the internet that's in use by greater than 1 million persons in the United States at any point during the year preceding the date on which, okay, blah, 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 legal speak, bullshit. And they include desktop applications, mobile applications, gaming applications, Steam, for example, 
payment applications like PayPal or Zelle, or web-based applications, i.e. Amazon, eBay, what have you. Information and communication technology products like uh, those four things. Uh, yeah, I'm sure Mitt fucking Romney knows about quantum key distribution. <laughs> Most of this stuff is really advanced stuff that not a lot of people know a lot about. So, e-commerce technology and services, including electronic techniques for accomplishing business transactions, i.e. like custom business software, online retail, internet-enabled logistics, internet-enabled payment technology, and online marketplaces. So yeah, that's just about everything under the sun on the internet, my friends. So let's go down to section 11. I don't like going over this nonsense because it's just a bunch of bullshit. Section 11E, here we go. This is the one that's kind of confusing to me here. So no person may, whether directly or indirectly, directly through another person, make any false or misleading representation statement or certification or falsify or conceal any material fact. That is very broad way of saying they're going to control free speech. Uh, it's to the direct Department of Commerce or any official of any executive department or agencies. Like if I say, Elizabeth Warren, you're a fat cunt. She is in fact not fat. Uh, I guess I'm in trouble. <laughs> and then we want to go to 11. Lowercase b. Okay, there will be civil penalties and criminal penalties. If it's a civil penalty, oh, there's more. A fine of not more than 250 grand. <laughs> and the criminal penalties, this is where I'm probably going to be, because I speak against our United States government a lot, because they are a bunch of zero-life-skill boomer fossils, or race hustlers. I stand by that fact. Uh, of course, that may be a misleading statement. <laughs> when in fact, Hakeem Jeffries, a.k.a. Dollar Store Obama, is in fact uh, a race grifter, my friends. Uh, criminal penalties. So, fine of up to $1 million and imprisonment for up to 20 years, or both. Thank you very fucking much. Civil forfeiture. Yes, any property, real or personal, bye-bye computer, bye-bye mobile phone. You are in the digital dark age after committing one of these offenses, my friends. Or commit, facilitate, okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and the criminal forfeiture will uh, also be your computer, cell phone, the, your bank account, everything. It's, it's all gone. They want you homeless, or they want you either in prison or homeless and alone. Uh, crying yourself as you plunge the final heroin needle into your arm. So, let's see what a real writer has to say about this. Uh, Digital Iron Curtain, how the Restrict Act threatens to devastate privacy and crush free speech online. I know, it's just for foreigners, right? But I call bullshit to that. So, apparently the world has become more Orwellian than Orwell himself could ever have imagined. It comes to no surprise that the United States government is once again attempting to expand the stranglehold on individual liberty. Senate Bill 686, also known as the Restrict Act, uh, and hopefully this goes nowhere. That's my biggest hope. That SOPA PIPA thing went, got blown up because people figured out what was going on. So... Same shit. They've been trying to shit for a long fucking time. And I know the young kids that follow me on YouTube, this will be on YouTube, by the way, say that I'm an old Luddite when I say stuff like the internet was a lot better in 2011. Because it was. Because there wasn't this bullshit going around here. So I know I'm being extra profane tonight. I apologize. Okay, where were we? Uh, far from being the limited TikTok ban it purports to be, no, none of these bills actually do what they, their title is. It's usually 100% uh, the opposite. The Restrict Act represents an unprecedented expansion of government power and surveillance reaching into every aspect of our digital lives. This piece of legislation is the Patriot Act on steroids for the Internet. The Restrict Act would seem to grant the United States government total control over all devices connected to the Internet including cars, your ring camera on your door, your refrigerator, your Alexa device. Don't ever put one of those in your home unless you really want Amazon spying on everything you say. 
and your phone. It goes beyond the pale, with the end goal being nothing short of a complete invasion of your privacy. And they, as you saw in the punishments, you better f <laughs> you better own nothing and be happy, and you better fucking like it and shut the fuck up about it. Under the guise of national security, the Restrict Act targets not only TikTok, but all hardware, software, and mobile apps used by more than one million people. And if you think about it, one million people isn't a lot, okay? <laughs> Anything from your Google Home device, you don't want that in your house, people. It's a spy device. To your smartphone, which also may be a spy device, too, get a Faraday bag. They're usually pretty cheap. Could be government. To, could be subject to government monitoring and control. Should you dare to defy, as we saw, 20-year prison sentences, civil forfeiture... Oh yeah, the, you can't use freedom of information requests, I forgot to mention that point, for anything involving this act. So that's also pretty, pretty brutal. And this is, all this for simply trying to maintain some semblance of privacy in your own home. And this is going to be weaponized, big time. So, the insidious nature of this act does not stop there. Uh, under the desk news... The bill's proponents are also seeking to undermine Section 230 and limit free speech. Of course, the implications are clear. This legislation is not about protecting Americans, but rather stripping away our rights and liberties because these boomer fossils that don't understand a word in this bill know better than you, people with life skills. So we looked at all the cocksuckers that are sponsoring this bill. Uh... It's time to call the bill for what it really is, an all-out assault on individual freedom and privacy. The Restrict Act would usher in an era of unparalleled state control over our digital lives, a nightmare scenario that even George Orwell would have struggled to imagine. And we must stand against it and call in. It's not going to make any difference. Uh, all these Congress critters are bought and paid for, my friends. You can try. But, uh, I mean, I, I guess I am a little black-pilled here. Uh, outraged citizens rose to the challenge in 2011. Uh, stop SOPA and PIPA. I believe it was then. Yes, I, you know, I could almost... I'm, I won't bet my mortgage on that. But, so that's why I'm sharing this article with my friends and family. Uh, and again, I've never heard of this site. It's Activist Post. I'll put a link to here in the description. And if you really want to see what's this... Abomination is? I'll put a link there too. So that's it. That's all we're going to do. Pretty scary stuff, my friends. Let's hope this goes nowhere fast. What the hell? Call call your uh, congressperson. Or write them a sternly worded letter. It may make a difference. It can't hurt. I still think at the end of the day, they're going to all vote on party lines. And there'll be about 12 Republicans. 11 or 12 Republicans that will backstab us. Hopefully the House holds, but again, I don't have much faith in those assholes either. But we shall see, my friends. Uh, pick up some non-perishable food. Uh, prepare your affairs so that when you get thrown in prison next to me, you'll have everything in order. <laughs> That's it. That's all good. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and have a good night, and God bless.